Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome to this week's episode that we hey. definitely did not record after last week's episode one day later. Yes, we definitely didn't. We waited a full week and then we recorded this. So everything we're, we're going to be talking about this in this episode is super topical. Yeah. And it's happening now, baby. Yeah. We did and not record this episode last week. We did not. Yeah. We're first to these opinions and these this all this media that we're about to watch. Well, sometimes it gets weird up here because we're a little bit like ahead and you know it gets weird with time and yeah anyway. light years and i don't want to bore you because it's it's a little bit over your head probably yeah you wouldn't know Dumbass. you guys are on a spaceship yeah so. um You're just, but we got a package so we're gonna open this package yeah it's um oh. it's pewdiepie's <laughs> diamond <laughs> button <laughs> the ups guy on a space bike yeah had a hard time we looked out the window and he was just bobbing up yeah bobbing outside our ship and we we're like oh do you want to do you want us to buzz you in and he just he just shook his head. He took the package out and hucked it at the side of the. But like the perfect mm-hmm. angle and trajectory that it actually ended up in our ship. Yeah. Again, science. I don't want to bore you. <clears throat> Fucking stupid. Yeah. Ass brain. Idiots, so. But um. Did you just say ass brain? Stupid ass brain. Oh, got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I need also like a your box. Brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking crew, uh, man. Idiots. They're too good. Fucking idiots. What could this be? I wonder. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Gosh, I wonder what this could ever be. I was thinking that myself as I'm opening it. I'm like, what? What the is heck? This? A package from YouTube that's rectangular. It's our plaque, baby. <laughs> oh. Um, wow. There's a direct message from Susan at YouTube. I'm waiting for the day you both spit in my mouth. <laughs> wow. Susan. Dude. That's what not the right. fuck, man? That's not You're right. going to get your fucking our channel up. She wrote it. Don't be surprised when the algorithm shits on us next week. All right, just just Alex just bleep whatever that was. <laughs> no, no, don't bleep it. You no? said it. We got to leave it in. Okay. Look, she goes she goes on. For all these tiny meat comments you guys make, it seems like you guys would have a thick <laughs> Well, Susan, you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. She just said you would have a thick, period. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what else does it say? <clears throat> now, while your lesbian hands seem like they could do wonders to a woman, you have hands that belong to a woman, and somehow they ended up on a man. <laughs> and I find that to be very impressive. <laughs> Cody. Damn. Oh, what's up, Suze? <laughs> you have the hands... <clears throat> wow, this is kind of mean. No, no, You Suze. have the hands of Mr. Tumnus. Who's that? The guy from uh, Narnia. <laughs> the half goat, half man guy. Oh, like hooves? No, that's the bottom half. Okay. <laughs> Your stumpy little fingers seem like they could play me a tune, but it would have me singing, no less. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, nice. I can fuck with that. Yeah. <clears throat> you two little hobbit boys belong... Okay. You belong at the top of my bookshelf. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> Take this golden plaque as a sign of my love for you and YouTube's love for you. <laughs> With love, Susan. Wow. Susan, you fucking freak. You, Susan, your fin dom. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus. Well, thank you. Thanks, Susan. Susan, appreciate it. Oh my God, it's a picture of her fucking <laughs> ass in here. <laughs> There's no mirror, it's just a picture of her ass. Congrats on a million subs, boys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're getting our channel removed. Probably Seriously, like yeah, this is this is the end of yeah. TMG Studios, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you all. For real. For yeah. this. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate thank you it. All. A million subscribers. I mean, this happened like a long ass time ago. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we but, got it. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. A belated thank you to all of you guys. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't think that was gonna like drop as hard. No, you didn't. Just fucking. <laughs> oh, it looks fine, bro. It didn't break at all. No. It's a little stained. No, you just dropped it right on top of something, so now it's like it's chipped.
Yeah, that'll come out. <laughs> oh, it, it's coming out. <laughs> Have a look at Susan's ass. <laughs> well, sorry. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's get the boys up here, because we got a crazy-ass episode. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tinyk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we have some special guests today. You know them, uh, but they are fresh off of talking to the CEO of Robinhood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Potentially, um, like, the highest caliber interview that's ever been done. Yeah. In Amongst the studio. Yeah. TMG Studios. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to them again. There are local... There are Resident finance team, sorry. Come on in, Ben and Emil. Yeah, thanks. I'm from the Trillion, Trillionaire Mindset Podcast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, we didn't make it for us, uh, big. They're having a hard time. <laughs> we make the doors for little people. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. 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 <clears throat> we need. A, we need a live space audience. <sighs> Fucking Emil. Sorry? Ten seconds in the episode, he's already fucking what messing you, with some woman's hair. There? What? We did, we heard it, but we didn't see it. What happened? Well, I, uh, as a little gag, I tossed the plaque over the thing because he did it to the box and it just nailed a piece of and equipment it nailed back the, there. Yeah, I thought oh. it was gonna land on the ground. That's but cool it, though. Yeah, so, but it's a it's a YouTube plaque. I mean, yeah, who really cares? Who gives a fuck? What an entitled thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> what did the plaque say? Um, congrats on I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Congrats on, on jerking up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, Boy, if boys... I had one plaque for every time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would need multiple houses. I wish, I wish YouTube would take notice. <laughs> but they probably do with the. Oh, I'm you know, sure they do. Do you cover your camera? No, God. Do you no. guys cover I say your let camera? Them watch. No, no. Please continue. No, I stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you guys get those? There's those emails going around now that are like. Emil, you kinky, naughty boy. We've been watching you. If you don't From give us... Susan, the CEO of YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Susan <laughs> Unbelievable. Is... They no. say they're going to send them to my parents. Oh, oh like the Black, Black Mirror? Mirror? No, it's... Yeah. Do you remember that Black Mirror episode? Yeah. yeah. That was a dark episode. Which yeah. one? The one where uh, the, the kid gets the email, like that same sort of message that's like, hey, we have videos of you jerking off. <clears throat> To child porn oh, or something right. like that. Oh, right. And then it just then, goes on the long, like, adventure of them trying to... Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's like a scavenger hunt, and then eventually he, like, kills himself That's or what the CEO of YouTube's doing to me right now. But he was a pedophile. Yes. That was the twist. I don't remember that episode. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember that Black Mirror episode where the guy gets fucking domed off for, like, 25 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the cultural commentary? Just, like, that getting, It was, like... Oh, the cultural commentary was, like... <laughs> getting head rocks? Yeah, head is better than the, than a cell phone. Yeah. He was, like, gonna play a game on his phone, and then his girlfriend was, like... No, I got something better. And he was like, oh. <laughs> just 30 minutes? Yeah. The whole 30 minutes. It's he's a getting single dumbed locked off, off shot. It's he's just... getting his shit sucked for 30 minutes. Yeah. Huh. yeah Good buddy, for him. But he could last. The only episode they uploaded to uh, Pornhub. Yeah. yeah. Was there a twist? Um, she was twisting. Yeah, she was twisting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not just, his, not just his pipe. I mean, she was twisting his nuts. It was crazy. Really? Reached up to his nipples. <laughs> like, like bop it? Yeah. Bop it. I saw a porn it. once where the guy's balls like went up on in either side of his penis. Whoa. And I was like, geez, dude. <laughs> like calm like down. they were always like that or he put them like that? Like they were always like that. It's like it was painful to look at. Wait, this is a porn that you saw? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was. For research. <laughs> or, or wait. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> That's what I meant. No, it wasn't at all. It was for research, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that made my head hurt. Me and Ben have to do a lot of head. research for the show. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to watch that stuff. No, I hate it. <laughs> but we got to be able to talk about yeah, yeah. what these freak CEOs and billionaires are doing. Mm-hmm. Did you ask... Uh, What's his name? Vlad? It was actually Vlad. Vlad's penis we saw. It was his. Wow. <laughs> Is that your first question, Vlad? What's your penis? How does, like? how do you, no, how do your balls do that? <laughs> we, we, yeah, we said we get a lot of we get a lot of questions from viewers. Do that thing be hanging? <laughs> and they're gonna crucify us if we don't ask. So yeah. <clears throat> and he stood up and he was like, turn his back to the camera, and you both. Do a live react? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God, that thing really do be hanging. He had beautiful hair. Did he? This guy really? had a nice feathered set of uh, lettuce. Head of hair. <laughs> yeah. Set of lettuce. Of, set of yeah. lettuce, yeah. <laughs> I complimented on him on it. Which was annoying. So yeah. I was right there. Yeah. So what was it like? Uh, it was, Interviewing uh, him. It was cool. Can I, I have something to confess. What? Mm. <clears throat> this morning at home, before I came here. <laughs> you jerked off. No, no. Okay. I took, Surprisingly, I took uh, I took a half a tab of acid. Did oh. you really? <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, I didn't tell you either. But I was just like, <laughs> and it ended. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it ended up being fine. Yeah. You know, because that, I that's... it actually made me way more calm than him and Mister Knucklehead. What do there. I look like now? You look yeah. fine. It was yeah. just nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I only had it in my mouth for like five minutes. Go ahead, make your jokes. <laughs> you sneaky little Christopher. Damn, now I got the giggles. <laughs> are you are you high? Like I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, I mean, it's just I don't think so. Because it, it, it seems like like your story with uh, Wheel of Fortune and this scenario. It seems like you like taking acid to like calm you down, like before. A nerve nervous situation. Uh, yeah, and well, sort of. It's just to sort it. It it acts as kind of like Adderall would. A just what? like, hey, I'm on and I'm focused and I'm able to. So, in another that. world, let's say you're what? a you're a brain doctor. Yeah, you think you would you would drop drop out before before, uh, before operating on someone's head? Yeah, you have to. I'm gonna have to say no. Nah. Okay, All right. I wouldn't, because that would make me feel bad if I fucked up. Mm. And then I would never know. Wow, if I hadn't taken the acid, yeah. But what if you would fucked this person up be alive? And you're like, I should have taken the acid. That's true. Well, it's the eternal question, right? Yeah. You know, like to take acid if I hadn't to. if I hadn't taken acid and gone on Wheel of Fortune, would I have won? Maybe. Mm. I didn't. Are you okay? You're not making any sense. <laughs> <laughs> There were no the words. words yeah, I was worried about So to answer your question, Fortune wheel have an I hit that first hit not To answer your question, I feel a bit like the guy in space there, just kind of yeah. kicking around, probably peeing his pants. That's yeah. the UPS guy. He dropped off the package. Oh, I saw the UPS guy earlier. Yeah. Oh, you really did scratch it. Yeah. Yeah, I dented it. Yeah. Damn man. But yeah, I gave it a little oh, character. It's back there. But now yeah, we can always say, what? remember that episode where Ben took acid <laughs> and all, you scratched and you the, thing. Well, the, the, the acid thing. makes the beam up a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, exactly. No. I understand that. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, <laughs> SeatGeek. <laughs> Live events are back, which back. means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. TMG. Yeah, if you don't know what SeatGeek is, you're an idiot. <laughs> Uh, they're a ticketing app that makes <laughs> buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones. We, we do. certainly do. What's um, coming up here? Why don't you uh, tell them what we got going on? Just you know. Well, uh, the got some basketball in there. Yeah, the Lakers are on here. I might get <laughs> Lakers tickets. Yeah, well, you that. know, whether it's a concert, a basketball game, football game, uh, oh, maybe football later because it's over now. But festivals, whatever. SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. Uh, college basketball is picking up, Certainly and I'm is. really excited for March Madness. March Madness. As an alumni of a team of a school with a basketball team, <laughs> I am very excited. <laughs> yeah. SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to ten to make sure you are getting a good deal. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee, so you can shop for tickets with confidence. Yeah. Uh, and if you were worried for some reason, don't because don't be worried. we've got the hookup. Use code TMG for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. I, I hope I didn't upset you or let you down by taking a drug before interviewing 
no, CEO I just of like Robin Hood, should, Vlad Tenev. I just feel like you should have told me. I, I probably should have told you. But then no, I I'm glad I didn't know. It's fine. I wouldn't have done it because I, you know. So they were asking how it was. We yeah, were yeah. very conscious of the fact that, um, and this is for anyone who was a little, uh, there, there were definitely people who were annoyed that we were having him on. We mentioned, because we did a GameStop recap, recap the previous week, <laughs> and we had mentioned we're very excited because, you know, the end result of all this is that we're having Vlad on to talk. And there were definitely a good amount of people who were like, unsubscribed, you guys suck. I can't believe you would have him on. And I think if you're one of those people, go check it out. I think you're not going to yeah. be... We weren't... It wasn't a fucking Robin Hood commercial, like <clears throat> which I think they might have wanted it to be, but... Um, right. Yeah, the stuff you were telling me just now was pretty funny. And, yeah. and, and I feel like it's not, yeah, what you would assume the interview is going to be like. It's funnier than you're gonna. I think it's funny, and we ask him very real questions. And that's crazy. He let you guys lick his nipples. Hey, I didn't think he was gonna go for it, but I said, if Vlad's game, you see, you see how Ben's licking his lips. He can't stop thinking about <laughs> it. He was wearing a what they taste a like buttoned up shirt. It tasted like a little uh, salty, <clears throat> a little salty. Like, yeah, very smooth. I mean, not unlike <laughs> the man's hair. Very smooth. He was. Uh, he was a. He was uh he had huge hands. I remember pointing that out to him. And now so in that hindsight thing I'm really like, do be thang him. Yeah. <laughs> well I mean, now also him. I'm like, oh fuck, that was that the drugs or was that me? <laughs> that oh, is damn. funny. I remember looking down and going, What? Like, it's fine. And then we, we held up all hands. <laughs> Look like a baseball, those giant baseball hands. <laughs> well, well, we ended up comparing hands. He put up his hands and <laughs> compared hands with us. What an acid thing to do. <laughs> he really did. Is. He fully put up hands and we compared. Wow, we're close. Dude. Your hands are hot. Why are they so hot? Are you sick? You're what? sucking on a cough drop. He's running a fever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the, out of the show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are. I've been sitting on them. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember uh, Matt's <laughs> Matt's story about the meet and greet that he did for that kid? <laughs> like, do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. was. He was our tour manager. Was like tour managing someone else, and he was doing a meet and greet. And like normally the people come up and they like hug whoever the person is and then give their phone to Matt. He takes a picture and so he goes up and like hugs whoever it is and then like gets really close to Matt, gives him his phone and Matt's like the uh, the phone's like all sweaty and he's like, dude, are you all right? You're sweating. He's like, yeah, I just got a fever. <laughs> <laughs> and then takes the picture and walks away and Matt, and like, what the fuck, dude? Was that pre or post? Is that COVID? Pre-COVID, but okay, still okay. like, that was, you that's just like walk flu. You, like you don't want to get near someone that has a flu. <laughs> I, I took a COVID test last night and I swabbed my nose so bad it bled. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Christ. Not, I mean, not <laughs> that. It's just going hard. It as wasn't hell. like that. Okay, I should rephrase. Ten circles. Yeah. It was just so dry. And for some, <laughs> is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Are you Look, doing good, man? Are you, okay? the, <laughs> are you good? <laughs> the instructions were also in Spanish because I don't know. <laughs> Why is that funny? Well, yeah. well did you just I, take acid? Could you read it perfectly? Uh, no, but I do speak a little Spanish, and that was last night. I took Pone the acid. This morning, in la. <laughs> that means put in the. Yeah. See. Yeah, Do you speak yeah. Spanish? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm asking you. Yeah. What do you I think? thought we've been I speaking Spanish the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me the giggles, man. Yeah. You better watch out. I feel bad. I'm laughing directly into the microphone, and I'm sorry for anyone laughing. It's okay. I need listening. Uh, I feel that like uh, yeah. All right, never mind. Tell us. No, I'm no. trying to. Do I was gonna say. Ja, 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 ja. And that's not. We can't say that. What can't you say? That you I say feel it? like I gained weight since last time. <laughs> you can definitely say that. That's staying in. I don't no. know. Wait, wait, since last. Weight since what? Your last, last COVID time, test? No, last. <laughs> what is? Up, okay, you gave the giggle pusses coming out. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You just leaned in my ear and said, I feel like I gained weight since last time. And then you were talking about your COVID test. Okay, okay, okay. Gained I feel like what? I gained weight since the last time we were on here. Oh. Why, do you, why do you feel like that? Because I just feel because like I did. Weight. Because I did. I'd been eating <clears throat> like crap and, you know, it's not good for me. I feel great. But we had... <laughs> I'm much... <laughs> I've been. Um, you're at the gym in the morning talking. You're talking to me from the gym. I hurt my back. Ouch. And I'm back 
to where I want to be. I figured out some new hip exercises. Where are they? Oh, well, that was the thing. I was only <laughs> stretching my back. Yeah. And uh, then my, and so, and I got a deep tissue massage for the first time. Cause like, I was like, my shit is so fucked up. Mm -hmm. I like during Christmas, I had like a pinched nerve. Everything was all fucked. Mm, and then I know about it. someone was like, it's all about your hips. You got to open them up. So I've been doing all these, that's what sucks. I'm still working out, but literally before I work out, I have to stretch for like a half hour. And then after I have to stretch for like 15 minutes. It's yeah. Like, so it takes the same problem. I used to with your hips. <laughs> oh, not my hips, but a lot of stretching because of my pinched nerve. Yeah. But now I'm good. Yeah, me too. What's it to you, Gordon? Hey, it's none of my business, fellas. Big boy. You guys' backs and your hips are all your business <laughs> and none of my own. My back is probably going to be fucked when I get older. I just slipped the Spanish in there to see if I could fuck with you. What did you say, poppy or something? No. What did you say? That's what the ladies tell you, huh? You what, poppy? Fuck. They don't call me poppy. You fucking look at them and you're like, call me poppy. That's no, I say. do not. <laughs> That's what you said 10 minutes ago. I mostly say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And are you sure? <laughs> I did. I, I can't remember if I told you guys this story, but one time I was playing. <laughs> 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 one time I was playing frisbee golf <clears throat> with my friend Brian, and there was a cute girl on the course because it was a park, but also you could play frisbee golf on it. And she was under the, the tree out there on this hole, and she was on a blanket reading a book or something. And I was like, dang, she looks pretty cute. Well, anyway, I got a tee off. So I hit it. I threw the disc, and it hit the tree and landed right on her blanket. And I was like, this is, uh, this is fate. Yeah. And I walked up, and I was so nervous. I was like 25 and um, got to talking to her. I asked her if she had a boyfriend, which is a stupid question to ask. You don't, Because you, you, yeah. it implies someone else, you know owns them or something what i think it, does. Uh, it absolutely does not what do you I mean i remember being told like don't ask if they've got a boyfriend because they have the autonomy to say whether or not they want you to give you their phone number i guess but it's also respectful to be like hey do you have a boyfriend like i, don't I wanna... guess yeah okay whoops well i'm wrong there well but i don't one. know i'm not i don't so i okay then i was fine i asked her that a weird question to ask after you throw a disc at someone's head <laughs> yeah. yeah usually it's like hey yeah. i'm sorry about well so after all that i then asked if uh she wanted to go on a date sometime and she said yeah and then i said well, are you sure <laughs> no no yeah i know no buddy i believe you me i know because no. then she did give me her phone number and i was just <laughs> I never. I think they call her. that a pick me yeah. something. Are pick you sure something. your boyfriend might get mad? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you said we you don't didn't have, have to. one. I know you just said yes, but it can really be. You don't have to be yeah. nice to me. No, I def I, she definitely uh, went to her friends and was like, I met this Frisbee golf player who is exuding <laughs> confidence. It was in the middle of a weekday, so you know he doesn't have a job. Yeah, yeah. It was, and I didn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, he wasn't, he wasn't very confident? That's so weird. Frisbee golf is so hot. Yeah. Oh, my God. How sexy is Frisbee golf? Dude, you know, we've only been podcasting for two minutes. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been? 22 minutes? <laughs> that is no, weird. Wait, oh, no, you guys no, no, we did that. No, that's oh, wrong. gosh. That's wrong. I was like... Wait, how long? Oh, it's been like I'm not even going to ask. I'm not going to ask long questions. It's been like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I do feel <laughs> flush. What? <laughs> 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 Did you hear him? Yeah. yeah. He said, I feel like I gained weight. Yeah. Well, you already said, yeah, you heard him. <laughs> anyway. This is I'm a so fever sorry. dream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. DoorDash. This past year has taught us to savor every moment together. Spend less time prepping and cooking and more time with the people you love with the yeah. help of DoorDash. Yeah. Get what you want to eat right now and right to your door with DoorDash. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. If you're craving late night ice cream, you know, maybe you've forgotten an ingredient for dinner. <coughs> maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, you can get everything in one app. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos <coughs> or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. 
Ordering is easy. Uh, your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop off. And for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code TINY. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, uh, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject, Subject to change, change terms, terms apply. apply. I got to say, congrats on the podcast. Thanks, S. Yeah, hey, thank dude. You. You're 20 episodes in now. I think that deserves a round of applause. Yeah. It's, I think Cash just did a single clap. Very nice of you. Um. I'm in love with the show, truly. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you. I really like it. Thank you guys for uh, doing what you've done to give it to us and to the boys behind the curtain. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big yes. shout out to all the crew. They make it so easy for us. Yeah. It's yeah. a fucking dream. You know, we're talking about shit. It just pops up on the screen. We get to sound like we're smart. It's, it's amazing. It's like magic. Yeah. But you guys are killing it, man. Like the people that watch the show and comment like love it you can tell like every comment is like this is the only podcast i watch as soon as it comes out which is sick to see and there, uh, it feels so good yeah there are we do have to address some of your subscribers why may i sure yeah go for it so this is to the people who <laughs> like to comment where's cody where's noel <laughs> We're 20 episodes in, and if you haven't figured it out by now, then you're dumb as rock. <laughs> no, that's no, not true. You're very smart. Stick around. Yeah, yeah. You might well, enjoy it. And also, where are the rest of you? Because last I checked, according to the math, there's like more than a million, 1.16 million of you, and yet only about 50,000 people are watching each episode. So that's going to be a big hmm for me. The numbers don't add up. The numbers don't add up. So either it's a conspiracy or... They just don't like us. <laughs> and it's got to be a conspiracy. It's got to yeah. be. The a YouTube conspiracy. algorithm is against us. It's, it's prejudicial. Susan. It's Susan. It's Susan. You yeah. know, she oh, has a little Susan. thing for us. So. Yeah, she likes us. Every time we upload Susan, she gets a notification. She's like, you little thicklets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and she. Clicklets? She, thicklets. <laughs> thicklets. And she adds a little sauce to our video. She's like, go get your views, boys. Yeah. Do That's you think feel she's good. fucking with our algorithm? Probably. Yeah, you're too tall for her. Oh. Yeah. 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 She likes her boys from the Shire. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I feel like I'm... It's all that weight you've gained that's making you belch. <laughs> yeah. I feel like every time I laugh now, I sound like Sonic the... Sonic... Sonic... <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. Sonic the mean? Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, he starts oh charging up. up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Fuck me. Nice, God. Dude. You're going to last here? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine. Okay. I know that it, it seems bad, but it's fine. <laughs> it's just the giggles. You bring it out in me, man. What can I say? Man? But all three of you. No, you said me. Give, give the compliment it's you. to me. It's you. Give it to me. Because now I'm looking over at you. <laughs> I'm like, what's he going to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ben, I feel bad. This will uh, we should get off your acid. Yeah. Okay. Topic. Yeah. What's what's next, boys? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's next? Let's talk boys? about this Bitcoin seizure that happened. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, if you're not into cryptocurrency or finance, keep listening because you're gonna like this. <laughs> Truly, because yeah, this, this is, is nothing... very this is very funny. Well, the seizure. Yeah, we'll talk about the seizure, but we care more about you know. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, like, I'll give you a little rundown. So, like in 2016, uh, some like twenty thousand. <laughs> Bitcoin was it twenty thousand? I want to maybe one hundred ninety thousand, ninety thousand, something. Oh, ninety thousand Bitcoin or one hundred and twenty thousand, something like that, uh, was stolen from Bitfinex, <laughs> which is one of the largest exchanges at the time. So at this time in two thousand sixteen, that was worth seventy million. And then fast forward, whatever it's been five years, and it that amount of Bitcoin is worth three point six billion dollars. Yeah. So the people that stole it were this couple. <clears throat> And they tried to launder, launder it, I guess, through like a series of crypto transactions and uh, the feds ended up tracing them. They found the wallet with most of the Bitcoin in. He had sold $700 million worth of Bitcoin. Damn. Jeez. And they found the rest of it and they seized it. It's like the biggest financial seizure of all time. Wow. And now they're like, you know, about to uh, get prosecuted basically. But the funny thing is, is that the he he was a YC founder, I think. He started some company and they and he went through YC and she 
is like a self-proclaimed like comedy rapper. Yeah. And what's Don't her... put that in quotes. What? There she Don't is. Don't put that in quotes. <laughs> no, we're comedy rappers. She's a comedy rapper. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So this is her right here. Yeah. Picture of her with the hat that says zero fucks. Zero fucks. What's her name? Heather Morgan? Or Razzlecon. What is it? Razzlecon? Razzlecon yeah. is her rap name. And honestly, she she can spit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to play some of it? Yeah, let's play some. <sighs> oh, man, this poor girl is going to get all these hits, but she can't even enjoy it from jail. I know. You can still enjoy it from jail. That's true. You hear She's, you hear through the grapevine. <clears throat> yeah. She's finally I think popping can, off. I mean, plenty, plenty of rappers do numbers while in jail. <laughs> it's you know, true. That's, that's not the issue. It's just that. Uh, we'll never get a follow up album. Wait, that. real fast. While while we're looking at this, uh-huh. um, I had just seen the other day before this news came out that someone was watching the wallets and was watching like, hey, ninety thousand Bitcoin just moved from wallet to wallet, and it's related to the hack. And then, oh. wouldn't you know it, it comes out, and now there's speculation that that was actually the United States government oh, moving it, wow. which is wild. Like, can you imagine being the guy who's got to like, well, I hope I. <clears throat> Punched everything in right, and this ninety thousand Bitcoin just yeah seriously goes without a hitch. Yeah, but it's also crazy oh, no. that sorry that 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 like there's a wallet sitting there with ninety thousand Bitcoin in it, oh, that everyone can see, and yeah. everyone's like, "This is the guy who stole it." Yeah, but no one knows who he is. I think eventually they like transfer, or, like they tried to launder it, and eventually it ended up in a in an account like Coinbase or something where you have to like verify your identity, so like mm-hmm. their names were attached to it. But that's it's the so thing that's insane. kind of interesting about crypto is that you think it's anonymous, but in order to actually like get it out to USD, you have to a- attach some sort of identity to it. Yeah. yeah. For I- this exact reason. Defeats the whole fucking okay. All right, let's listen. Razzlecon in Vietnam. Menace to society. Oh, I've never seen this one. Neither have I. I saw the like really <clears throat> popular. Yo. Yeah. Uh. Oh Jesus yeah, Christ! Oh God. Okay, from from. What a, what a Skirt. waste. Skirt. Minutes to society, higher than the sky can see. You can't get as high as me. Synesthesia, Ooh. I can see. Minutes to society, higher than the sky can see. You can't get as high as me. Synesthesia, I can see. Big trouble maker. Yeah. 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 Me. Skirt. Crazy outlier. Skirt. Real icebreaker. No one crude as me. Not a peacemaker. Bring the key. Wow. What are you doing? That was just getting good. <laughs> Wait, pause it. <laughs> Ben's freaking out. <laughs> He's like, I'm enjoying what this. What the fuck is this? At first, I'm like, this sucks ass. But then I'm like, this woman had $3.6 billion. <laughs> That's kind of tight that a total idiot had that much money. Right, she gets to just purely live out her dream. She doesn't have to worry about money. Yeah. She doesn't have to worry about uh, quality. This, this is what... The, to do it. Yeah, yeah, this is what a total dum dum does with six billion. Yeah. Or three point six billion. It is pretty endearing that um yeah, the the person behind the fucking money is a fucking total moron. Did they did they actually do the hack or did they just No one knows yet. That's so insane. They won't yeah, I don't think they'll know until they go to court, but um it would be sick if she had a line in there about having billions of dollars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could you imagine that? Yeah. People are like, Come just, on, no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> but it was real. I have three billion dollars. <laughs> I they hacked it from Bitfinex. <laughs> <laughs> I I could swear that I saw a TikTok where she's doing. It might have been photoshopped because it was just a still, but it was like one of those ones where it's you know choose between this and this, and it's like uh, a fucking apartment. I don't know or hack hack some some amount of bitcoin it must have been fake now yeah, that i'm saying oh, it. yeah i wish we had the foresight to pull it up but she does some like some advice videos about like how to do be good at business and stuff and <laughs> i really wish we could find this tiktok she basically is like you need to replicate delegate and fucking i don't steal even, three billion dollars <laughs> yeah. and she's just it's it's fucking nonsense we it's, gotta find this please look at her I mean, razzleisms. She, her face is, she's, she's truly, God, she's fucking dense. Yeah. She's so dorky too, which is the thing. You wouldn't think that someone who stole that much money would be so dorky. Yeah. Or, like would, or would like do this. <laughs> yeah. Like, just don't, just re- go to, she's so go to the beach. Twee. And what are like, you doing this for? 
yeah. giving business tips on TikTok. You don't have to right. do that. And then she's like, there are videos of her just like eating big pancakes, like, and it's just so <laughs> cute. She's like, these are supposed to be the best, like, and her husband. There it yeah. is, yeah, yeah. She's look. eating a big pancake, and Press it's that just, big old. And there's her video. husband, the guy. That's the guy. Yep. And she like calls him husband. Three billion Look at him. Dollars. He's probably like, bitch, keep a low profile. God damn. Yeah. Get off TikTok. Oh, this, this is why regular people can't become billionaires. They don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Right. You no skip kidding, too man. many steps yeah. where you learn, hey, I'll tell you what, Vlad, this man comes in, he's got security. Two of the scariest guys you've ever seen. That's how, you know, that's yeah, how billionaires Yeah, there's not enough really security in these videos. Right. Yeah. There's none. Should be bouncers like standing in the background. <laughs> right. mm. They should be renting out all these places that they eat at. They should be really establishing their wealth. Yeah. Not going to um, Papa's and Beer and asking the cashier, can you film this for yeah, my yeah. music video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and shooting off a super soaker. Yeah. <clears throat> Too regular. I would kidnap her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for the Bitcoin. That wasn't the question. For the Bitcoin. <laughs> no one was wondering. No one asked that. No, no one. <laughs> Uh, and back to Noelle's question. Yeah, I guess I would. Uh, yeah, yeah, personally, I, I think I would her. probably. Kidnap yeah, because we were talking earlier for the viewer were we? slash listener. We, I, I'm see. This is where the brain doesn't make the connection. Is that we were talking about it before recording? No, we were not talking was, about kidnapping. We weren't this talking woman. about committing the act of kidnapping. But I, I read a headline about crypto people getting kidnapped for ransom. Oh yes, so yes. In yes, my brain, okay. I made the connection. I would kidnap her. That's all that came out. <laughs> oh, so right. I would kidnap her. Oh, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode. Liquid Death. Yeah. You may start noticing there are strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section of your local uh, stores. Well, it's not beer. It's actually mountain spring water from the Alps, Danny, <laughs> and it's called Liquid Death. Why is this water called Liquid Death? Mm. Well, because... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst and their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Most plastic you throw in a recycling bin actually just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable uh, and actually profitable for recycling facilities. I love liquid death. It's basically the only water I drink. It really does just look like beer. <laughs> Drinking water from a freezing cold can is actually really refreshing. It is. It is. And you can uh, get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash TMG. That's liquiddeath.com slash TMG. Or grab some at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and 7-Eleven. So Thanks. what was Thanks that like, What was money. that article that you... Yeah, where... where did it's I, behind a paywall. It is? Oh, fuck that, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's... I hate that. Yeah. Paywalls? Paywalls. Who would pay for content? <laughs> I would. I know. I would. The, Jesus. <laughs> I would kidding. pay. That's, it pisses me off. Why not? You know what? Here's a free business idea for you okay, guys. Okay, give it uh -huh. to us. Is this a razzle? No, no. This, is, this isn't a razzle. That, fuck that. This is a basil. Okay. Because of the B, because of Ben, because of my name. Uh, okay. Because of the B, because of Ben, because of my name. I like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Emil. Uh, no, because more I often want to than not, in Ben's ear. when you <laughs> when come here, go ahead. Embezzlement. What are you gonna say? Oh God! It seems like you gained a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly you guys can hear that because you're laughing. <laughs> it does look like it though, right? Yeah, no, no, no. you look oh, great. No. You look great, man. You Stop great. it, you, okay. dude. You look totally fine. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when you're on Twitter. And you come across an article on Business Insider, New York Times, yeah. or whatever, and it's like, you've reached your limit. Would you like to subscribe? You just say, okay, fuck this, I'm out, right? Yeah. Right. But what if it were to give you the option to buy it a la carte? You just, hey, would you like to buy this one article for $1? Yeah. Yes, I would. I would. You've been pushing this forever. I want One dollar? One dollar? Yeah, pay a buck? You know, no, you pay can a buck. subscribe for like three. Uh, that's too much. But you're going to read more than three articles um, in a month. No, I'm not. I just want the one. Give me the choice. Dude, I guarantee. Do you want the rice and beans, or do you want it a la carte? I want it a la carte. It's the kind of a good idea, but it have to. It would have to be like ten cents, right? It'd have to be much cheaper. Okay, yeah. okay, ten cents. Whatever you want. To, what, what if you name your price? Guys, journalism is dying, yeah. and this is what we're coming up with. Well, let them die. Okay. But I'm the, offering you water in the desert, and mm -hmm. <laughs> that's definitely how it feels. <laughs> yep. 
I would agree. That's exactly how it feels. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Yo, so how would you kidnap her? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would. That's a good question. Because uh, I I used to ponder how I would rob a bank. <laughs> how would oh, you do it's it? So easy. How would I rob, rob a bank? Yeah. You would have to. <clears throat> okay. You would. <laughs> you're killing me. Oh God. How I would rob a bank is I would wait until the the bank is opening and I would go up in like a trench coat and I would have a fake bomb strapped to me and I would act okay. terrified. I would act terrified and just say, you know, something along the lines of, please, they, you know, they, they have my son or something and you've got to give me uh, uh, as much money uh, uh, as you can in this bag and please d- 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 don't call the police or something, you know, uh, really ham it up. Right. And then they give you the money and you you jump over the wall or whatever. And you're I don't off. think that's ever going to work. Oh, fuck you. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. That was, that was really, <laughs> it's really intense. It's, it can be so much easier. Than I feel that. like you're just how, how would you do it? Uh, so, well, but couldn't you just say like, Hey, give me money or else I'm just going to blow this shit up. Like, why would you that's make the part up yeah. of the sun being captured? Well, so and... that they would feel like, Oh man, I'm definitely not going to call the cops after this. Oh, I see. Cause if, yeah, yeah. if I do, I'm definitely hitting the button. <laughs> but wait how would fact you... the button doesn't work is that true yeah well, why well i used to work at a bank it depends huh so the button it does work but it it's like it takes a while so it's not a reliable i'm just telling everyone yeah hear that, that robbers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> highly unethical life <laughs> the bulletproof glass Back. ain't bulletproof either <laughs> the the most common way is that people commit petty theft because for most banks it's a write-off to like rob a teller because at any given time they don't really have that much money on them they keep it locked away hmm. so what most people do is they come in and they just they slip a note to the teller and they say give me everything in your drawer or i'm gonna do this or i have a gun you need to give me all and and tellers are instructed to just do it and then that's the end is that what you so is that how you would do it you would slip it <clears throat> well yeah i think the most genius part though is some guy uh he got he got away with multiple like like robberies at different branches one branch two times like back to back and he put a fucking band-aid on his nose and whenever the police came and asked for a description the only thing that people could remember was the fucking band-aid ah. that's so smart oh, yeah fuck, see crypto <laughs> ruined the fucking world because before <laughs> thieves used to be fucking cool yeah it's like you had right. to walk into a bank and and like threaten people and With a steal band-aid. shit Bro, no, there, for real and th- go to a safe and fill a bag and there was jump a- in a truck now thieves are fucking razzmatazz yeah, or whatever right. yeah, <laughs> literally yeah like so, come on yeah some guy with a cartoon profile picture is just taunting you being like a heavily I took on your exactly I have your apes <laughs> I've stolen your apes yeah you, and I just have to watch dude my apes are gone <laughs> right I have to watch some guy cry about losing his son's tuition. It's just like not fun. Yeah, yeah. The branch I worked at, um, it got they had to put in bulletproof glass because it got robbed. And the way it got robbed is two guys ran up in there with a fucking MP5. That's Whoa. sick. That's, That's a hard. big gun, right? That's I mean, it's just That's it's what like I'm a, it's like a twenty two caliber. So, Fuck. but it's just like it's a it's a pretty dope gun. And they just fucking they ran in and hopped over the counter like straight out of a movie and just like held that shit up and was like, give it all to me. Damn, it's cold. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah, now it's fucking eight boys. We and go. you were taking it from a bank, which everyone hates. Yeah. Now you're taking it from some random guy who got in over his head on crypto. Yeah. yeah. Not as fun. No. Well, now that, now that money just goes to the government, and then what? It's not like they're going to give it back to anyone. Right. No, I think they are actually, I read, they're trying to figure out the best way to get in contact with, um, <laughs> but maybe that's extremely <clears throat> naive of me, the the DOJ just being like, um, we're figuring out a way for you guys to get your Bitcoin we're back. We're definitely going to give it back. We'll <laughs> let as, you know. As they're, as they're like buying apes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that one's sick with the glasses. Buy that one. Yeah. This shit's going to go up. Yeah. Trust, trust. No, you want to get an animated one. That shit's going to be big. Yeah. They, uh, that actually... Because <laughs> it was only worth what? What did you say? Sixty million back? Then? Seventy million. Yeah. So those people would not only be made whole, but they would be rich. Rich. Yes. Yeah. Damn oh, these boy. robbers. I wonder Total. if the government's going to do the right thing. But do you get do you get prosecuted 
for stealing seventy million, there's like that has to that's like, a great make question. your sentencing different, question. right? <clears throat> like, I don't know. It's not their fault. It turned into three point six billion. You think that's probably their defense? Look, we thought we were stealing seventy million. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. That's insane. Yeah. Fucking insane. Yeah. I never wanted me to be a billionaire. Forever? I didn't know it was that much. Yeah. Everyone said it was going to crash. We were just planning on having, you know, seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it was seventy million at the time. You we guys have been crash. laughing at these people. I yeah. do believe that the maximum sentence is twenty five years. I read for, for whatever financial crimes. Oh well, because it was defrauding the United States government is one of the sentences. I don't remember how they defrauded the. You government. You know what that means? What she's got twenty five years to work on the most fire <clears throat> rap album mm. of 2047. <laughs> wow, fast man. Dude. Damn, dude. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Damn, human calculator it's over here. It's twenty five plus twenty two. Yeah, but Fucking give me nerd. a second. Fucking nerd. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. What a dork, okay, dude. dude. I'm supposed to be the math guy. <laughs> 22 plus 25. Yeah, Wait, Mike, you you carry that? the one. <laughs> <laughs> You're him. You sound just like him. This is ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah now who's getting laughed at? It's supposed to be a good joke. Best album of 2020, 2047. <laughs> it's still good. It's still good. What's yeah. your name? Raz? Ra Raz? What was it? Razzle Khan. Razzle -Khan. <clears throat> Can we? <laughs> I want to listen to some more Razzle Khan. I wish we had that video of her giving business advice. It's very. Click on one of her TikToks. Um, she had a lot of TikToks. It's insane. I want to see that pancake one. Let's yeah. just music. I want to see. I want to see. Wow. That guy has three billion dollars. Yeah, isn't that wild? <laughs> that guy has th had three. Uh, Got to do this. Okay. I, I like, really like her. She's such a dorky little. I really girl. like her. She's truly psychotic. Why? She's probably look. She's got brain worms from having that much money. And she's just like Huz doesn't get it. Oh Whoa. my god. Why don't you try a pancake? <laughs> and that's. <laughs> wow, Whoa. Really Whoa. Okay, this might be worth it. These are famous pancakes. Whoa. I can't believe it. This, this is fucking rules, rules right? This rules. This is like really cool. <laughs> This is my comment on social media and how it's really superficial. I love how her husband was just like, shut up. Try the fucking pancakes. I've been sitting here waiting. You don't have to give commentary. We're worth $3 billion. This like, is like a movie. Like, th yeah. they're going to, there's some Hollywood. Oh, it's going to be an incredible they've already bought the book. Rights, yeah. Oh, it's going to be an incredible book. Yeah. Play another one. <laughs> this is, no, I'm, I'm truly just transfixed Wait, by this I woman. think if you go to the, there's a, yes, that one. That's an <clears throat> AirPod, AirPod rap that we can enjoy probably. Great hair. <laughs> I, you know, I... AirPods. Oh, yeah. AirPods, AirPods, motherfucking <clears throat> AirPods. Where are my goddamn AirPods? Apple find my phone, but it won't work at home. Yeah, we're good. She, she, <laughs> it's like she's trying to be Grimes. Like some kind of really, really, really shitty Grimes. Yeah. yeah. I'm just blown away that, that when they ordered those, I don't know, those Teflon pancakes and... <laughs> The waiter came over and said, they're like, look at these dorks. <laughs> Not yeah. knowing that they were billionaires. Yeah, truly. Why didn't they start selling it <laughs> off? That's kind, of, that's kind of a bad thing when you have a billion dollars and people don't, you know. Like, to no. be a billionaire, I don't know. I think it, it requires you to be a certain type of person. And the fact that, like, they have a billion dollars and no one could sniff that out of them. Yeah. Right. You should be able to tell. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a bad, like, you, you should give the money away, honestly. But wouldn't that be a horrible feeling, like knowing you have $3 billion, but not being able to spend it because yes. you have to figure out how to launder it and not get arrested, and it's just sitting there in an account. That's why, yeah. you're, a, that's why you're not a true billionaire. true billionaire would have figured that out a long you, time you ago. You find some yeah. patsies, yeah, right? Yeah. Why couldn't Something. they just start selling it, though? <clears throat> Slowly. Who knows? Because what, what, what are you going to put on your... Your tax form. Oh my god! All you get wrapped you have... up in taxes. We're talking about three. <laughs> we can get a we can get a tax guy. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But you, you need you need a launder like you need a business. What right. would you, how would you launder it? What would you do? A strip club, baby. Tony Soprano style. There we go. The bada bing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll call Marty from Ozarks and be like, "Yo, yeah, yeah. Figure this shit out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think about. You know what I do? What? what? Parking lots. Ooh, Frankie Muniz style. Yeah. That's what he did? He owns a ton of parking lots in Good Los Angeles. Him. He does? Yeah. Yes. No way. I remember learning that oh, years ago, and I was like, God damn, that's smart. You know, yeah. he doesn't remember any of Malcolm in the Middle. That's, that's what he says. What? It's he not true? It's not what? True. You you know? He says 
not that. That's what everyone says. Oh, he does remember. So I'm just another <laughs> victim of the internet. Yeah. But you and me both, pal. I like thinking about him and Brian Cranston meeting up and Brian being like, yeah, and you had the thing on your head and it was... You both are going, just... Huh? <laughs> go, oh, that sounds really great, but sorry. You both are just walking butterfly effects or Mandela effects. Nothing, oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing you talk about has ever happened. No. <laughs> sorry, that's Cody. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah man are you still Dog. dealing with just residual embarrassment yeah yeah because so, like i i get it though okay because like, i don't what, think what you did was embarrassing though oh so shameful <laughs> it well, is so shameful the, the, people thought it was fake yeah like hey, that's how bad it is to my friend and business partner like that was real <laughs> <laughs> i did that i said that yeah, it's funny well, you got a good story out of it, now, <laughs> right? I guess. And we all learned the a lesson. Simultaneous shrug from both of you just went. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we did. We shrugged. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got a joint shrug. That's yeah. what happens when you when you develop um, podcast synergy. You just start doing like each other's motions. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode. Honey, yeah. we all shop online. You do it. I do it. And we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at the checkout. But thanks to Honey, <laughs> manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites when you check out. The Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. <sighs> Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Every time I buy something online, I check and see if Honey can save me money. <laughs> I recently ordered a bunch of stuff for around my house and saved a bunch. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. Oh, oh monsieur. <laughs> <sighs> It's literally free, and it installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. Have you ever seen those clips of uh, NBA games where the players like do the same thing at the same time? No. no. There's like, super cuts of them. They're, it's really cool. Just... Probably just from doing the same motions over and over, eventually, inevitably, two people are going to do the same motion. Have, have yeah. you ever seen the Tiger Woods? And don't tell me if it's fake. I want to. I want to believe it's real. The Tiger Woods son. He now plays golf. Oh, they, oh yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's real. Yeah, he's got all the same exact mannerisms. Oh yeah, that his, was fake. No, yeah, his son, his son is not oh. real. It's a deep fake. <laughs> Damn it! Have oh you, yeah, here NBA you, players in sync. It's really cool. It's a brief. <laughs> Whoa! They all stood up at the same time. Wow. Weird. No, oh, there's some weird. trippy ones. They're like synchronized. This is a deep fake. No, they're not deep fakes. They're real. I'm calling bullshit. Just wait. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, that's just a cool thing that they do. Have you guys seen that Black Mirror episode where the dude gets domed off for 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Just put put it in the middle of this. Ben, There's... we can't just watch a uh, YouTube video. Yeah, let's video. just watch some fucking you. Hey, you guys seen that one YouTube video? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't watch basketball anymore. <clears throat> not since Kobe not? died. Really? Well, you didn't have to make it sad. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. He was out of the NBA by that time. I, I'm yeah, trying but... to make sure I don't. Fuck Luke up because I keep. Oh yeah, don't tighten that. I didn't. I loosened it. God, you fucking manhandle your mic. I know. Yeah. And you I... just are like gripping it. It's Emil can't. can't he can't resist. No, you he really can't. Come here, <laughs> come I here bitch. I got an opinion. <laughs> I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> you little skank. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but apparently Luke can't get the mic off after we're done because I get when you I just can't get, get the, the mic twist. off. Yeah, because he's just... <laughs> I can't get the mic off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, it off. Use your mouth. Emil's just using all his new hip exercises to get the mic on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking... He really, do, he really do be doing that, though. Yeah? The more you think about it, the more it really do be that way. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's this little nut right here. Yeah, yeah but apparently yeah. when I... Because I sometimes am like... Jesus. I don't really do that. It's just. Emil, how did it feel to sit across from a billionaire knowing that you could have fucking.
Jesus Christ. Don't say that, dude. It's, hey, it's that's pretty fucked team. up to say. Well, don't you think? Still His fucking question. bodyguard just drops down from the roof yeah. right now. It was weird. No, honestly, it was really... I mean, I I said to him, I was like, honestly, thank you for doing this. Never in all my life did I think I would get to talk to a, a tech billionaire. These are genuine questions that I have. We, you know, we asked him some serious questions about like his role in all these things outside of GameStop. You know, like I looked into a lot of, he's been a, he's been a controversial figure and, and Robinhood has been a controversial company for a long time, even yeah. before all that. And so we really got to talk to him about that. And yeah, it was amazing to actually get to get answers from him and ask him about his responsibility and you know what he feels his role is in uh. making sure people are educated and using these tools he's developing and he had some canned answers that sucks like i asked him for a timeline about the gamestop thing and he just gave me a very canned answer so i tried to ask him again again a canned answer and then i was like can you just give me day by day before January 28th, what happened? And then he finally did. But it did you <clears throat> ask him, did Citadel reach out to you? Fucking fuck. We didn't ask a pointed question like that. Damn. I really wish that I had. Well, because he kind of touched on it. No, we we talked about it. and Yeah, and but we didn't ask directly. Back a bit. Sorry. Um, <laughs> 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 no, uh, yeah, we didn't directly. But we kept playing with him and being like, at one, so this is the fun part. I don't want to. So how close are you and Ken Griffin? Do uh, well, so like I don't want to. I don't actually want to do golf this. for what? <laughs> I, I don't actually want to do this to him because I don't think it's fair. But I wish we could. We basically got him to say a couple of things he shouldn't have as a joke, and I'm and I kept being like, we're gonna clip that because, you know, I was like, we were asking about the Ken Griffin thing, and we were like, and then he made a joke of like, yeah, and the White House was calling, trying to like shrug it off, and so I said, okay, so. So you, Joe Biden, and Ken Griffin get together, and then he says, like, and collude to, like, you know, fuck over everyone. And I was like, we're clipping it. We're gonna. <laughs> he did say, no, he then repeated it back. He yeah. said, yeah, me, Joe Biden, Ken Griffin, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You heard it here first. <laughs> right. It was great. It was on TMG Studios. <laughs> I'll show you our mindset. But he, uh, the best part was, <clears throat> we are, I mean, we mentioned it to you guys, but I got him a hat that, at Should Lids. we blow this? Because this is a fun thing. If if people are gonna watch the no, video, yeah, yeah, let, yeah, them, yeah. let them. You got him a hat, which I know you got him, and you told me about. And yeah. it's very funny that you got. Yeah. Him oh no, wait. Th this episode will come out after that one, so yeah, no, you can say it. Still motivated. Yeah, but oh, this yeah. gets a okay. lot of people who might not tune into Trillionaire in Mindset. Okay. And so, if you guys are interested in checking it out, there's some very fun things that I yeah. think you're yeah. going to. There's enjoy. a special hat. A special it's a hat, hat. gag. Um, it's another hat. You know, remember when you guys laughed when they brought us? Yeah, remember that? Ha ha, funny. This one's. Very fun. Yeah. And, but, and we got to do a lot of fun things with him. And, uh, you oh, know, Eddie, yeah, take him on his private jet to his yacht. And his <laughs> no. fucking I didn't even ask him if he flew here on a private jet. <laughs> I really wish that Damn. I had asked him that. Fuck. Well, we did invite him to come back anytime, which he won't do. But <laughs> I was so genuine funny. At, at the he end. He just shows up randomly. That would be cool. Yeah, you guys I, said, I asked cool him to, to come back. It's it fine, though. We went like an hour and a half. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's great. Great. And, Fuck yeah, I'm pumped to watch yeah. that. He, I hope it turns out... It, it well, will. by the time this comes out, it's already out. So I hope it's good. It's good. I Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. I hope it's good. Did he sign a release <sighs> or anything? I don't, I don't think he did. They <laughs> didn't stipulate any kind of anything where they're going to watch it and say... I mean, if they yeah, do watch it and say, hey, can you edit that out? It's going to be like, well... Too bad, so sad. No, yeah, yeah we're fine. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll tell them. I'm going to go public about how the security guy asked me to come to the bathroom so he could show me his gun. <laughs> That's true. I thought it was. I thought he was being gross. He really. He just showed me his gun. It was kind of. Yeah. He threatened kinda, you. He let me hold it. It was heavy. What kind of gun was it? I don't know. I don't know guns. Was it? Was it a pistol? It was a handgun. Okay. It's called a pistol. I guess. Not all of them. No, it's a handgun. It's yeah. like a square oh, rectangle fuck. situation. Oh, it was like a Glock. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say a square rectangle situation? Yeah, like all pistols are handguns, but not all handguns are pistols. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like all squares, or all rectangles are squares. No, all squares are rectangles. Jesus, you know, this ain't geometry class, pal. This is just a <laughs> podcast. Fucking, look at this nerd over here. <laughs> I know, all, seriously. Carry the one. Yeah. <laughs> all squares are... No, 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 shut up, dude. <laughs> 
about a rectangular prism is that it's not. I thought Dude, Ben was shut in there. Up, bro. Emil's over here d- being, giving us razzleisms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what it's like doing a podcast with him. Come on, we have fun. Yeah, no, don't I know. we have fun out there? Yeah, we do. Come on, we do have fun. Tell we me. have fun on the drive too and I'm, the drive home. <laughs> I'm just rethinking, joking about attacking a, a billionaire now. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm just rethinking if I should have said that. Oh no, it's all. I, I, these guys would have never let me get close. So no, they would. Good. They would not have had time to get in there. And if you, I mean, that is truly it, not possible to have eaten it. Well, eaten him even a little bit. This is the you worst know, you thing. Bitten off. They that's what I'm saying. They yeah, didn't even absolutely. pat me down. So like, I totally could have like. I'm not gonna say this actually. Yeah, let's not. Let's I couldn't not have say done this. anything. And what? You what's could wrong have totally with saying? What's ripped your with shirt off and shown your tattoo that says Vlad. I am yours. Vlad is bad. D Vlad D. I will say this. We did ask him. Uh, we, nice. We, nice. we did tell him. Um, we said uh, we have a we have a segment we do on every show, and it's called being bad with Vlad, and that's where you tell us the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> and he said, in every episode, and he said, you guys play it even when I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we do a segment called Being Bad with Vlad, even when you're not here. <laughs> it was kind of a weird, yeah, because certain things you think of and you're like, oh, this is going to be funny. But then in the moment, you're like, Jesus Christ. Now it's a segment called Being Bad with Vlad, where you tell us the worst thing you've ever done. And what did he like, say? What kind of question is that? He said, well, um, I can't you know, really I would have to, I can't really think of anything. I'll have to circle back to that. I never really expected him to have an answer. I yeah, think of I course just, he's not going to have yeah. an answer. And the worst, I, I tried to like loosen him up by saying the worst thing I've ever done, and it was that I stole two dollars from my mom's purse, which isn't the worst thing I've ever done <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's when you hit that woman in the head with the frisbee. That's the worst. thing I didn't ever. hit her in the head. Okay, it hit the tree and it bounced gently at her <laughs> okay, feet. Yeah, whatever, man. Just and you just we're live. You just admitted to taking <laughs> half a tab of acid. Just because we're recording. There's nothing wrong with admitting to doing a no, little bit of drugs. No, to the woman. Oh, yeah, to the woman. You just nervously cop to it and said, do I look like I've gained a little weight since the last time you saw me? She said, what are you talking about? And you're like, hmm. <laughs> Can I have just like one fucking second? <laughs> like, what? That sound was great. <laughs> you, you thought it went way differently. Do you want to go out with me? She's like, no. And you're like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah, that's even it. that's even sadder. Asking it after she says no. Oh uh, yeah. No. Are, are you, you sure it's a no? <laughs> are you sure? Fuck, man, this makes me feel gross. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep looking over at the spaceman floating over there, and I identify more and more with him. Did you I gain? Wa- did you gain weight, by the way? <laughs> no, uh, I, I certainly hope not. <laughs> I, I haven't weighed myself. I just keep picturing Ben being like, "Are you?" Uh, <laughs> I didn't She's gag. Like, are you? Uh, are you? Sh- are you sure? I remember I had a shaved head and like, you know, not the best skin, and I was just like, <laughs> and I had squ- square glasses. Oh. Not the good look. No. Dang. The best part is this: the last week of our show, you popped your shirt off and were screaming at Jim Cramer. Oh yeah, that, that, now, yeah, that was sure. so fucking funny. Now all of a sudden you're being modest, and you looked great. Everyone said. Best body in finance. Yeah, someone said I didn't know a beer gut could have abs. <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called pushing it out, okay? <laughs> That's great. You have a six pack normally. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> <laughs> but it's those little stub, stub, yeah, <laughs> yeah, stubby kids. Yeah, what are those called? They they have a name. What the short cans? Oh, the, the nips. They're no. called nips. No, no, nips are the little. Oh, I know. Yeah, like the little baby cans. Yeah, like the small diet cokes. Yeah, they're called nips. Chubbies. No, <laughs> chodes. They're called chodes. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. are. Sure. Why not? They're so you chode have a chode I have a chode six, six pack. Oh, fuck. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if beer gut could have abs. It's just so good. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, really good. that's, a funny that's episode 19, if any of you are curious. Yeah, because they have 20 episodes now. Yeah, yeah. And that's the Trillionaire Mindset podcast. You can find that on this channel. Yeah. Or look it up on Spotify. Or, well, and, Apple, you know, leave it a review, too. Fuck we've, it. We've five had, stars only, though. Only five stars, only nice comments. Yeah. And we've mm-hmm. uh, they also have a highlights channel, Trillionaire Mindset highlights channel. Make sure oh, you subscribe yeah. to that. Yes. You know what's crazy is Vlad being on <laughs> means, you know, TMG Studios has interviewed two billionaires because we had Jeff. That's true. We did have Jeff Bezos. Yeah. And then we've had Vlad. Yeah. Jeffy so. B. 
I want to get Jeffy B. Actually, back next up week here. it's RazzleCon. Oh, you know what? She's coming on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll fucking we'll hit her up. Oh, you guys should get her to dial in from uh, prison. Yeah, that actually. I mean, I'm sure that you could get her because yeah. I'm sure she's going to be out on bail or something. Oh, so we also got to ask. Um, I know I was like, we're not going to blow anything, but now I'm just thinking about it. we. So Vlad went to Stanford, and for those oh. of you who don't know, we have like a stupid rivalry with Stanford Business School. It all got out of hand, but we started off by saying. You know, sorry, we just have to get this out. Like, Stanford sucks and you suck for going there. And he was just like, what? <laughs> that was the first thing you said to him? It's yeah. like pretty early After on. After the prayer, yeah. And then we kind of explained it to him a little bit. But then... <clears throat> oh, yeah, you were here for that. And then, if you haven't seen it, we had a Stanford man on our podcast, William Prezone. So we were like, do you know William Prezone? And he was like, uh, no. We were like, he went to Stanford. And he was like... Ah, gosh, I don't know. And we were like, his dad started the private prisons. He was just like, what? Yeah, I yeah. love that. I love that. Oh, I love that. I felt really bad. Certain bits, it's you could just see. And he only <laughs> he, he only put it together because he looked at us and he, because I think he genuinely was trying to figure out if he knew him. And he was like, and his last name's Free Zone. And we were like, no, Prison. <laughs> and he was like, and Ben finally was like, it's like prison said weird. And he was like, oh. It's a, <laughs> it's a joke. Did you ever say that? That's so good. I, yeah, did he I laugh did at clear. anything? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. He he's a, like, he was a good sport, I think. <clears throat> yeah, he, like, you'll see. It's a... It's a good time. It's a good time, I think. Yeah. We did lead him in a prayer uh, to start it off. I told him that it was a Christian podcast. <laughs> and I asked so if, good. if he would join him. I mean, he knew it was a bit, but also, I'm not sure if he knew, because... I did ask him genuinely, and he did it, and he closed his eyes, and we all held hands. And, and you let it? Uh, yeah, I started it off. And, and then, then we both we both had some prayers to God. Of, I think I said, please don't let Vlad's security men kill me. <laughs> yeah. Man, After I can't. I rip my shirt off and show him my tattoo. Yeah, that says yeah. Vlad is bad. Well, yo, everyone, go check out that episode. It's a heater. We haven't seen it yet, but it's a heater. We know that. Um, Chilling our mindset. <clears throat> ben Khan, Emil DeRosa, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, Appreciate it. Everyone else, we'll see you in the bone zone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> just during the Cody, I'm like, wait, do we walk off? No, 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 no. You can hang. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. No, 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 take off. No, no, you no, can just hang. You can chill. Okay, okay. Now, watch you. You can, you can leave. <laughs> But he's not going. <laughs> Fuck. Lo, lo, lo siento, lo siento. Okay. <laughs> I understood that. <laughs> I feel so oily. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Give me a break. I do feel oily. I know it's just a funny response. Yeah. In that scenario. You look oily too. Okay. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys gonna take off or? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Well, because I'm trying to remember what we did last time. I'm it like, it doesn't matter. We can do whatever we want. Okay, Ben, say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> Buddy, there ain't no way I'm <laughs> sober or not. I'm I'm perfectly fine. I just have the giggles now. Can you tell a story real fast? I feel like you have the best stories. Yeah. <sighs> well, Are they're we just in the bone zone now. What? You know what they yeah, actually? Fuck it. Let's start you know the what they actually do with? Do you guys, um, do you guys want to go or do you want to stay? Uh, I don't care. I, hey, buddy, it's your show. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got a piss though. I've never go been piss. to the bone zone. No, nah, you're. We're gonna, everyone, we'll see you. We'll we're see you in the bone zone. To the bone zone. We're gonna keep this going. <sighs> Hear a story maybe, and we'll see you there. You know where to find it. Patreon.com/slash/tinyme gang. Yeah.